Hi guys, welcome back to CG Candy. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to extrude along a curve and um, kind of get some different results and play around with it and show you the way that I like to do it um, and you know just give you a couple options so you can find out what you think works best. So let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, in my the first thing I want to say is that I'm going to be using a plugin, um, which I'll tell you a little more about as the tutorial goes on. But um, it's called FE Primitives, and you can see in my Polygon Primitives and my NURBS Primitives creation, I have these extra ones down here at the bottom. Um, they are really neat. Like it's just a great way to get a little more out of primitives. Uh, some extended primitives that don't come with it but you know are really useful so we'll talk a little more about that later all right the first thing we want to do is let's draw a curve that we can extrude on it's up to you how you want to do this the first technique I'm going to show you is just using a CV curve you might want to use this one because it uses fewer points which uh, can be easier to edit it and um, animate it if you're trying to do something animated with this. So go ahead and click that. And when you click down, you'll notice that you don't start seeing an actual curve until you get four points out. That's just the way it works. It needs enough points to display the curve. So go ahead and draw any kind of shape that you want. And just for good measure, I'm going to right click down on it and go to control vertex and you see you get these control points let's go ahead and click on one and just sort of offset it because you know we're using a 3d application so let's use that third dimension a little more I don't like to make something that's super flat because I could do that in you know after effects or something so here's our curve and the next thing that you want to be aware of when you're doing this is the direction that you drew the curve in because when you go to extrude along this curve it's going to go from the start to the finish it's possible to flip that direction and I can show you how to do that later but it's easier if you just sort of you know be aware of which direction you drew it in so I started up here so I'm gonna to have to put my shape here and extrude in that direction so the next thing we want to do is I'll show you the kind of the way I used to do it and why I don't really do it this, this way anymore. Um, depending on what you're doing though, it could be really useful. Um, and I'll give you an example. But anyway, let's just place a, a primitive. Anything will work, um, but we'll use a cube for now. And what we want to do is we want to place it at the start of our curve. So you could just eyeball this and I'll show you how to be more precise with it later but right now let's just rotate it kind of into place and I want it to be sort of facing the direction that the curve is flowing in if that makes any sense um, and I want it to be a little behind the curve not past it so not overlapping it just right before it starts and alright the next thing I can do is take the face of my cube, put into face mode, hold down shift and click on this curve, go to edit mesh extrude and you'll see that it just drew a straight line all the way down to the end of the curve. That's exactly what we want. Right now it just doesn't have enough faces on it to do anything with that curve but you can tell it's using the beginning and the end points. So what we need to do is we need to tell this shape to have more faces. So click on that, go into your channel box, um, so this top right button here, and you want to play with the construction history. So you should see poly extrude face one in my case because I've only done one. And I'm going to click on that. And now you'll see all this history. Um, don't worry about all this for now. Just scroll down till you see divisions. And right now it's at one. So that means that it only has one face along here. So let's go ahead and type in a number. And the more faces you put here, the smoother it'll get. But also, you know, if you want to make modifications, it's going to be a little harder if you have too many faces. So for now, let's just try 20. All right, there we go. It's that simple. And 
the reason I told you earlier that we were going to use a uh, CV curve is now I can just take my shape and offset it from the curve. So just hit W and move it off. And now I have this curve and if I go into those control vertices again, um, you see they're where I moved them earlier. Now you'll see if I move this, it's moving my shape. And the reason for this is that it still has that construction history of the extrude. So it's, it's happening live as you do this. Um, all right, so that is the basics of what we're doing here. And I'm gonna show you how to do some slightly more complicated ones. Um, and real quick, just as a tip, if you wanna animate these, you can create cluster handles. So you go into your animation set and go to create deformers cluster. And now let's just go back into the control vertex mode and I'm just gonna select each cluster and hit G to repeat the last thing I did, which was create cluster. And again, control verte vertex, hit G one more time because I have four points. And there we go, now I have these cluster handles which I can put keyframes on and you know if if you're into rigging you can um, attach these to some locator handles but you know for now you just get the C so if I select one of them and I hit S and then I move down the timeline move it around hit S go back to the beginning we'll do another one for the other side S go to the end of the timeline hit S and it's gonna play back pretty quick, but there you go. So you can see that we have some animation on this um, shape. And now this could be useful. Uh, I actually, I found this out when I did a project where I was animating a telephone cord. So that's just an example of how you could use this. Um, what I did was I then, after creating these clusters, I parented the end of one to the um, telephone and then the other to the uh, telephone um, receiver and then animated the in-between points. All right, so that's the basic. Um, one thing you'll notice here is that when I move this, I still have the cube that I started. Um, and that's just sort of one of the limitations of using a polygon to start with. So uh, one of the ways around that is, let's just delete this for now. Um, go ahead and go to cube again. And this time I'm just gonna delete all of the faces, except that one face, because that's the only one I really needed anyway. And now I can hit that and do the same thing. Hold shift, select the curve and go to extrude. And you see this time I didn't have to go into face mode because I only have one face. And, whoops, not offset. But actually, you know, that is another thing that I wanted to show you is the um, the offset, you can create sort of a, a horn shape. So I've actually modeled, you know, little spikes and things this way. All right, so the other thing I wanted to mention is that uh, and this is the reason that I now do it a different way than this. Um, this is probably the way you'll see more frequently used. And it is good, um, let's say you were modeling a tree or something and you wanted to, you have a pre-existing shape, like you have the trunk of the tree and you now wanna create individual um, branches off that tree. You could use curves and take one of the faces along the trunk of the tree and extrude that out into a, cur into a branch. But Here's the problem with just doing this with a tube um, is that if you look at the UV texture editor, uh, I've actually put a checker pattern on here and you'll notice that nothing's displaying and I've hit my uh, six key to preview the textures and that's because I don't have any UVs on this when I create it. So I can make them um, but it's gonna be really hard to unwrap and get something that's really smooth and follows the flow of this curve. Uh, and that's just one of the limitations of doing it this way. So I'm gonna show you the way that I prefer to do it now. 